Hello everyone. Today's topic is basic proportionality theorem from similarity. Before we start this class, I need to tell you that I am a mathematics teacher. If you are expecting online mathematic classes, you can contact me in my email ID and or WhatsApp number or you can visit my website www.moimath.com. Before we start this uh, topic, let me tell you that if you are studying in different board like IB, MIP, so this topic will be studied in MIP 4 and 5. If you are studied in IC in the Indian curriculum, ICAC or CBAC or any state board, there are also around grade 10, 9, 10 level. This is the main topic and major topic is there. And if you studied in um, Cambridge or any European board or any US board, there are also uh, from grade 8 to grade 10. This is major properties are there. You need to learn about this. So it's a very, very important topic. So you need to learn it from <coughs> the beginning, from the depth. So you'll get an idea that how does this work. So let's start our topic. That's a basic proportionality theorem. Uh, the theorem states that the line is parallel to a side of a triangle which intersects the other sides into two distinct points. Then the line divides those sides in proportion. So if you see that there is a triangle ABC where is a parallel line DE and BC is there. Already I have done this construction so that's why it is showing in the picture. We will do it in the later, later stage. We will show that how construction has been made. What is the purpose behind of it? Okay. So in this figure, if we consider DE is parallel to BC, then according to the theorem, AD by BD equals to AE by CE. Now let's find a proof of that statement, whatever is given. Now you're going to prove it. Now you're going to see that how the proof is happening. So in ABC, DE is parallel to BC line DE intersects AB and AC in the point D and E respectively. We have to prove that AD by BD equals to AE by CE. Construction, we have already drawn that EF perpendicular to AD and DG perpendicular to AE and join the segments BE and CD. Before we get into proof, we need to know that area of triangle which is half into base into height uh, triangle ABC and BDE are choosing from there. So, if you see the picture, in this picture, area of triangle is half into base into height. So, I'm choosing the triangle ADE. Okay, ADE and BDE. So, area of triangle ADE is half into base, that is AD, into perpendicular height that is GE and area triangle DBE where base is DB into height is again GE which is outside the triangle but this is the height of triangle. If you just extend the base BD and it is connecting with G and GE will be the height. If it is there so you cancel G will be cancelled and half will be cancelled so remaining will be AD by db now in the another triangle that is ade and cde if we consider here it is half into base that is ae and the height is df for triangle ade and if you consider cde that means uh, ecd here also half into base is ec into df so if you cancel that half and half and df and df you will get ae by EC. So there are two statements we have got it. Now we are going to consider the another theorem that is DBE and ECD have a common base DE and lie between the same parallel DE and BC. Also we know that the triangles having the same base and lying between the same parallel are equal in area. If they are equal, so area of DBE equals to area of ECD. If it is happening, so at the position of ADE by BDE, which is equals to area of ADE by area of CDE. So in this case, we are getting AD equals to BD. Hence, it is proved for this 
better understanding every place I have used that picture to make you understand here also you can see that that DBE it's a DBE the lower triangle is equals to ECD so there since their area is equal they are staying in DE and BC common parallel parallels they have and they have a common base that is DE so since their area is equal so we can see AD by BD equal to AE by CE which is a uh, basic proportionality theorem next we are getting into properties of basic proportionality theorem the f there are two properties first property is property of an angle bisector and the second one property of intercept made by three parallel lines on it transversal so the first uh, property is if you check it that is properties of an angle the statement is in a triangle an angle bisector divides the sides side opposite to the angle in the ratio of the remaining sides what does it mean if you see the picture if you see the picture a b c where d a d is the bisector where a d is a bisector means there are different parts like b d d c and they're making angles over b a d and c a d so as per the statement we can say that a d is the angle bisector of b a c so according to the property is BD by DC equals to AB by AC which is very very important property we will solve some question based on that. So next one I want to tell you about the second property of intercept made by three parallel lines on a transversal. If you see the statement the ratio of the intercepts made on a in transversal by three parallel lines is equal to the ratio of the corresponding intercept made on any other transversal of the same parallel line. So if you see the picture there are L, M, N, there is a parallel line and there is a transversal given as P and Q. So from the statement consider the figure L, M, N are parallel to each other so transversal P and Q intersect with A, B, C and D, E, F some certain points they are intersecting over there so as per the property AB by BC equals to DE by EF. Now we will solve one problem depending on this property. In a triangle ABC, AD is the angle bisector BAC, where BD equals to 6, DC equals to 8, AB equals to 15, find AC. So you can understand that if you are going to solve this one where AD is the angle bisector, if you consider this picture it will be like this so B A D and C A D are making an angle where B D S value is given 6 D C value is given 8 A B has 15 so asking for A C so we can use the basic proportionality theorem uh, properties number 1 if you use the first property A D bisect B A C which is given if it is given then by the property you can write AB by AC equals to BD by DC this is angle bisector property now let's AC equals to X if you unknown side we are considering as X where AB is given 15 so substituted next BD is given as 6 so substituted over there and DC is given as 8 now if you do a cross multiplication 15 into 8 equals to X into 6 now x will be 15 into 8 divided by 6 if you do a cross calculations here you will get it 20 so by this theorem of by the properties of angle bisector property you can get it that AC is 20 now if it's the length so here no units has been used if it's a centimeter so it will be centimeter if the units other given is given as meter so it will be meter so let's do an another problem so let's start problem number two and the figure given below will show the picture where DE parallel to BC AD is X DB is X minus 2 AE is X plus 2 centimeter and AC is X minus 1 centimeter then find the value of X so if you consider the picture we are getting the picture as a basic proportionality theorem if you see the solution DE is parallel to BC so it follows the basic proportionality theorem that AD by DB equals to AE by EC. 
so d a d is given as x and d v as given as x minus 2 so a e equals given as x plus 2 and e c equals x minus 1 so if you put it and do a cross multiplications you are going to cross multiply here so you're going to get x square minus x equals to x square minus 4 so since both sides having x square so we can cancel x square in both sides so you're going to get negative x equals to negative 4 so both sides since going to negative so we can cancel negative and we can get x equals to 4 so the solution can be asked so what are the length of the other sides all of the sides so in this position we are going to get ad equals to 4 centimeter db is x minus 2 so 4 minus 2 so 2 centimeter ae ae is given x plus 2 x plus 2 means it will be 4 plus 2 6 centimeter and ec is 2 minus 1 so 4 minus 1 will be 3 centimeters so different kind of problem can come and you can solve by basic proportionality theorem which is a very good and and very good understanding is needed to understand that how the proportionality theorem works then you can solve many problems okay so we are ending up here so once again i'm repeating if you want to learn more mathematics you can contact me in my email id or whatsapp me and definitely subscribe these channels to get more information about mathematics to get more knowledge about the subject thank you